After that, what I have seen of destruction in Aleppo College, I have decided to send an open message to Mr. Obama. Dear Mr. Obama, President of USA, I was astounded previously when I have heard Reverend Jeremiah Wright insisting on one of his sermons that the Christian community should sing, Oh God, don't bless America anymore. But after what I have seen and experienced of destruction in Aleppo College, I have justified what he was saying. You know why? Simply because what I have seen in Aleppo College was incredible. You cannot imagine what had happened in that organization. Going back a little bit and remembering what Mrs. Clinton, your former minister, have said previously to the gangs in Syria gives insight of what have discovered Reverend Jeremiah Wright was right. Mrs. Clinton asked the gangs to do not, in Syria, to do not give up their weapons. And she didn't give any effort to encourage them to go to dialogue with the Syrian government. In fact, she did the opposite exactly. She asked them to do not give up their weapons and she asked them not to go to a dialogue with the Syrian government. You know, the policy that your government is adopting and that is building alliances with the fanatic groups in Syria and building alliances with governments and countries never renew democracy and freedom. Even the woman has no right to drive a car, put many question marks in front of my eyes. Do you know that such policy encouraged these fanatic groups who produced a person called Ayman al-Shahabi to slaughter people by knife? Do you know that he confessed in one of the TV meetings with him that he used to say, praised be God who gave me the right to slaughter you by knife. Tell me, Mr. Obama, tell me, Mr. Obama, in which Bible you have read to make such alliances? Please tell me, Mr. Obama, is that what you have learned from your church services? Tell me, Mr. Obama, is that what is your faith built on? To be honest, I am really asking many questions. Are you really Christian? Is that and such relationships are commitment to Jesus Christ, our Lord? I cannot say yes. Let me tell you about what people we have and what people we educate. Before many decades, maybe two or three, a person, a Syrian person, immigrated from our country, Syria, to your country, USA. His name was Abdurrahman Zaytoun. Abdurrahman Zaytoun risked his life 40 times to save 40 American people, citizens, from Katrina tornado. This is how we educate our people in Syria. We are committed 
to our God who called us to save people and not to kill people. Abdul Rahman Zaytun became a model in your country. Even cinema interfered in that person and they are now trying to produce a film that shows how this person could become a model, an example, and work for saving people. I am, I invite you, Mr. Obama. I invite you, Mr. Obama, to visit Aleppo, to visit Syria, and especially Aleppo, and especially Aleppo College. This organization and school, which includes a school for elementary school, for elementary students, for preparatory students, and for secondary students. This school was established by American missionaries who came to this country and tried to educate people and give them sciences to improve this country and develop this country. While your alliances now is destroying this organization. Are you faithful to your ancestors? Or building alliance and thinking of the benefit of Israel destroys all things that, was, that were built in your life. Yes, please, Mr. Obama. And I am now sending a message to all Christian committed people around the world in all the churches. Come and see. Come and see killing people in Syria in the name of God. Come and see destroying churches, sending bombs to churches. Do you know, Mr. Obama? We didn't worship our God in our church for, for six weeks now. We are going and visiting other churches to make our worship there. Mr. Obama, let me be honest with you. Many people are trying now to say that they are concerned about Christians in Syria. And recently I have heard Germany is preparing a plan to receive Christians from Syria. Honestly speaking, I am not concerned anymore about Christians in Syria. Because Christians and Muslims lived in Syria for more than 1,400 years. They lived together. Their relation is built on accepting each other, respecting each other. While, let me ask you, what your government policy and West policy has done, have done, sorry, in Iraq. Most of the churches in Iraq were destroyed since you have your country invade Iraq. Now, most of the Christians were displaced from their countries and became refugees all around the world. And the real percentage now in Iraq doesn't equalize 10% of their previous percentage in Iraq under Saddam's regime. Mr. Obama, let me be honest. Now, I can understand Reverend Jeremiah Wright saying in his sermon. Now, I am telling you honestly, that your policy, your government policy and the West policy in, in Syria is going to produce crucifixion for the community of Syria. Why? You are crucifying the Syrian people in the land that Jesus walked in it. Why? Why killing people in the land where Saul became Paul? where he went to your country, to the West, telling you about the good news that Jesus Christ came to save us all. Mr. Obama, I invite you to come to Syria. 
I invite you to come to Syria and you, you see by your eyes and experience by your hands the catastrophe that your policy and West policy is bringing to our country. Syria is a civil country. Please don't let the uncivil policy you are adapting to destroy our country. This is my final words. Thank you.